Hello, welcome back to our channel. It's a sunny day in March and today's video I'm going to talk you through how we made this traditional A-frame support for our squashes. Although we're using it for our squashes, you can use it for other veg like courgettes, runner beans, sweet peas, anything that needs real good hardy support during its growing season. This traditional A-frame is very easy to make. You don't need any fancy equipment and cost barely anything. All you need is a few strong branches, which we picked up on our dog walks, a couple of screws and some string. Remember though, never cut down branches from living trees. We went to a local wood and only picked ones that were already on the ground. Hazel sticks work best as they grow very straight. We couldn't find any of them, so we just picked whatever we could find. If you live in a city and don't have anywhere you can find branches, you can always buy some canes or even buy some hazel sticks from garden centers. But we think it's much more fun to go out and find them yourself. Right, let's get building. Once you have all your sticks, lay them out on the ground with one end all lined up. This is so you can see what your average length is as it will decide your overall height. You will use your longest and most straight branch as the top beam. We are now going to cut them all roughly to the same height, so mark them and cut them. I'm using a chop saw, but a hand saw is fine. Now we have them all the similar height, we can start construction. For your six vertical supports, you want to use your thickest branches. Lay the first two on the ground, crossing them over at the top. Then use your screws to hold them in place. It doesn't need to be too tight as you may need to adjust the width of them once you put them in your bed. Do this for the other end and the middle support, either laying them on the ground and measuring the bottom gap or lay them on top of each other. This is so the crossover at the top is roughly the same height once up. Now your end and middle support is made, it's time to put them in your bed. Place each end support at either end of your bed. We have quite soft and very free draining compost, so they went in easy, but you may need to cut the bottom's branches into spikes. You can do this with an axe. Now they end the ground, adjust the width to allow room for whatever you're going to be growing around them. Remembering that you'll be planting your squashes inside the frame. If you need to adjust them, you may need to undo the screw and adjust the crossover slightly. You want all your crossovers at the same height so the cross beam sits straight. Once the two end supports are in, it's time to put the middle support in in the same way that you did the ends. Now you have both end supports and the middle support in the ground, it's time to put the cross beam along the top which will make it feel a lot stronger. Now we have the main shape of the structure, it's time to put your horizontal supports in with each one you add, making the frame sturdier. It is easiest to do this for two people. One person holds the branch across and the other one ties it with the string. We found doubling up the string helps to support the branches better. Add three horizontal branches on each side, equal distance between them. It is on these sports that the vegetables will grow. Obviously, if you have a taller structure, you can add more horizontals. You will feel your frame is quite sturdy now, but to add a little extra strength, especially in the high winds when there's a lot of foliage on the frame, use some more string or rope and add a couple of guy ropes on either end. And that's it, it's as easy as that. Now you have a traditional A-frame to grow your veg on strong and it looks great. I hope this video helps you with your build. Let us know in the comments below how you get on. Check back in a couple of months to see how we get on growing squashes on